Hello everyone, welcome to my channel WPF and in this video tutorial just I'm going to uh, teach you uh, how to bind a data grid in WPF using MVVM pattern. So uh, you know that MV, uh, you know about the MVVM uh, model view and view model and if you bind data grid view using the MVVM pattern that is very easy. You know, uh, so uh, first of all, just I am going to uh, bind a data grid view using MVVM pattern uh, with uh, uh, automatic generated columns. So, okay. So, uh, first of all, you know that in a view model, um, define a, a collection property in your view model that will hold the data to be displayed in the data grid. This property should implement the I notify property changed, and or you can say that. Uh, uh, also, we have a NuGet package uh, that uh, is actually uh, similar with the iNotify property change. But uh, in this video tutorial, this time I'm going to use iNotify property change interface to notify the view of any changes in the collection. Okay. So here you can see that here we have three uh, things that is model, view, and view model. And view model, we have a man view model class. And that is property is a pupil. And you know that. Property changed by I notify property changed. And here we have a person class. And you know that a person is actually uh, contained inside the model. Okay. But uh, notice that a uh, person is actually not exist in the uh, model class. So, uh, first of all, add a new class in the model section that is person. Okay. So, just create it with the two uh, properties that is uh, name of the person and the second one is age of the person okay so uh, if you know uh, the name and age age is actually not exist but uh, you know that already we have a models folder inside the root folder so uh, here uh, the person is actually catched. So just I'm going to define the proper namespace to locate the person class right here. Okay. So uh, person equals to you know that uh, public string name, public integer, age. Is like that and here we have a, a constructor that is man view model and observable collection is a type of person and you know that underscore people and here we have a private property and just I want to know that uh, inside in the public property so Add a new view in the uh, window WPF for bind the data grid view. In a window, you have to create an instance of the data grid control in your view and set the item source property to the pupil property in your view model. That is the MVVM pattern. So just connect it with the view model by using that item source property using the binding. That is pupil that is the public property inside in your view model okay so you know that everything is fine now after that in the constructor of your view set the data context property to an instance of your view model okay so uh, that is the instance of your view model in the uh, cs in the cs class file so again you can see that uh, here we have a, a squiggly line just under age so, uh, how to remove first by uh, defining the proper namespace of your people, of your person class uh, that is actually existing in the models folder. But uh, define the proper namespace like test WPF that is the project name first. And then after you can use uh, models, uh, sorry, MVVM. And then after you can use, uh, that's fine. Now, the uh, you know that 
And now after that, if you want bind the data, uh, bind the data grid view with the MVVM pattern, you can just define the data context property to an instance of your view model. So instance of your view model is actually created a, uh, you know that it's a created and here we have a view model and name and age is there. Now in the age property on the main view model, you can say that under a strictly line is given. So uh, again, you have to call this by using this age. Age is not visible. You can uh, you can visible that email ID and the passwords. I mean to say that that person is actually not um, of your MVVM models. Here we have a users uh, and also here we have some other folders where your a person is actually exist. So just to define the proper namespace of your model that is test wpf dot mvvm dot models dot person. Then after you can see it's simple to uh, remove the error. So first of all, uh, just copy that uh, the whole uh, path. Oh, sorry, uh, whole namespace name, and just after that, you have to assign the person. So new uh, inside in the person, you have to say that that person is there. Okay, so everything is fine. Name John Doy. And now after that, you have to define the age property. Now the age is 40. Now the simple thing you can do uh, test wpf.mvvm.models.person, models.person, models.person. Okay. And your age squiggly line is removed, but uh, the whole is actually um, contain a uh, four squiggly line just under the pupil observable collection and the error is system dot collection dot object view model collection okay 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 now i am i am going to say that the total property of your private property is not com convertible to that so just copy that uh, namespace and paste it here also because it's a private property that is not convertible okay now also uh, here we have a public property where you where you can see that person just uh, replace with this namespace okay now simple now you have to uh, run your project and you can see that your data grid view have a some data and if you want to bind the data grid view with the database table that is very simple you can bind with this model and you can notice that everything is similar Okay, so here we have startup URI, MVVM, views, man view model, and you can see that the output. So, uh, MVVM views bind grid view dot seven file. So now everything is fine and your output is here. Now the next uh, topic is that, and if you want to create a columns manually in a data grid view, looking like in a Windows form, then you can define your template. So you can say that if you want to create the columns of your data grid uh, control manually, you can do so by defining data grid text column, element of each column and uh, and setting the binding property to the name of the property in your person class that you want to display in the column. Okay. So binding is binding name, binding is age, that is the person or you can say that binding the people. Okay. So. Uh, you can see uh, that is the auto generated column property to set to false to indicate that you want to define the columns manually. Two data grid uh, text column elements are defined for the name and age columns and the binding property is set to the name and the age property of the person class respectively. Okay, so that is the example you can see. And uh, here we have a data grid dot columns. 
and if you want to define a uh, remove button also so uh, you can say that to add a custom column with a button to delete reports from your data grid you can define a data grid template column element and set the cell template property to a data template that indicates that include a button control with a command that will delete the record that is uh, you can say so by using the uh, remove com remove button you will delete the record from the from the collection okay so here we have a binding property command parameter is also binding and also you can just define the binding in the uh, in the uh, in the view model so in the view model you will need to define the remove command property as an instance of the i command interface and implement the logic to remove the item from the pupil collection okay so the remove command property is defined as an instance of the relay command class which implement the i command interface the remove person method is to define remove the specified person object okay so by using the extract method you can do this so here you can see that here we have a remove method that is inside in your collection and uh, install if you want to uh, relay command if you want to install relay command that is i notify property have some uh, package you need to uh, add it here so remove command with the relay command uh, now uh, in the class that is the person class and here we have a extract method that is remove okay so by using the remove method is to define the take a parameter of type person which is the type of the items in the people collection okay so everything is fine now you can remove by using this you can remove the record from the database table or you can say that remove the records from the uh, collection that is very simple so if you can see the last row will be given it's a default row actually or you can say that that row uh, will be used by the windows form also and also uh, that row will be used wpf that row indicates i mean to say that can user add rows property is set to true by default can user row can user add rows okay can user add rows property by default to set to true if you want to make it false then what happened so by default the data grid control in wpf will display an empty row at the bottom of the grid which allow the user to add new items to the data source if you want to hide this empty row you can set the can user add row property to false okay so uh, after this you will see the bottom uh, default row is not visible okay so the next uh, is if you want to display the uh, record on the message box when we click on any cell then um, what what will you do for uh, in wpf that is very simple you can use a preview mouse down event to display the record associated with the cell in a grid uh, in a data grid control in a message box with a cell is clicked you can handle the preview mouse down event on the data grid control and use the data context property of the clicked cell to retrieve the corresponding items in the data source okay so uh, the preview mouse down event is handled on the data grid control and handler method named data you can say that uh, by default is actually uh, is auto generated that is data grid preview mouse down event okay so here you can say that the parent of type extension method is used to retrieve the parent data grid cell of the clicked element if the cell is not null the data context property of the cell is cast to person object and the name and the age property of the person object are displayed in a message box using the message box dot show method you know that so but here you can see that the error is same i mean to say that squiggly line is the same because extension method is not a part of the non-generic class 
So define a static class just outside the class also. So define uh, create a new class uh, that is non generic type and you just define the parent of type inside it here as extension method. So note that the parent of type extension method is not included in the .NET framework by default. So you will need to define it yourself or use a third party library that provide the functionality. So here we have uh, your video will contain that the type of logic. Okay. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to WPF. And uh, listen me carefully. I, uh, I always help you if you comment any types of questions related to uh, my network and my knowledge then I will answer you very well and very soon. Okay. So uh, don't be uh, fed and don't be lose any hope related to WPF. Just ask me anything about WPF. If you know more about WPF and how to design this uh, in WPF. So that is the logic if you want to implement it here. So here we have a class that is inside it here. Just create a new class just outside the class and and inside the class you can take extension method that is parent of type. Also make it class that is static public static class framework element. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos and uh, don't forget please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications about the WPF. Thank you very much and soon very soon I will start a new MAUI video tutorials very soon and handling the lots of code about the MAUI. Thank you very much for watching.